though they'd both visited Ilium's mother each and every day that they were in the refuge, even staying with her during the worst times, when she forgot that they were no longer little angels. Once they became permanent members of Raphael's team, they'd been offered rooms within his refuge stronghold, but had declined. For 100 years more, they'd kept the Eries, and taken youthful delight in racing and diving in the gorge. Bachelor pads, Elena had said with a laugh the last time she'd been in the refuge. I can definitely see the appeal. Not quite the right term, since the Eries weren't limited to a specific gender, but correct in tone, since no families called them home. For the most part, the Eries were favored by lone angels, with the age range skewing younger, though it did also house a complement of older angels who preferred their own company. You should paint the Eries, he said without thinking. At night, when the lights are sparkling inside and angels are diving in and out, he spotted something else in the painting before Adon could respond. What's that blotch of blue over? Breaking off, he glared at his friend. Is that supposed to be me? Adon's grin was a familiar thing that appeared too rarely. Only the very beginning of you. I'm trying to capture that moment when you climbed onto the roof to try to fly off it, with me as the designated holder of the ladder. Memory bloomed of how hard it had been to get himself up to the top with his wings' heavy weights on his back, of how long it had taken them to move the big wooden ladder. He still wasn't sure quite how they'd managed that, and of how angry his mother had been when she'd caught them before he made it to the top. I had it planned, he said. I was going to land in the soft jasmine bushes below if I didn't succeed in taking flight over the short distance. Haydon laughed, the sound rippling over Ilium like a song, too long unheard. I don't recall you bringing up that piece of genius while Emma was giving us both the dressing down of our lives. Ilium snorted. I knew I'd be in even worse trouble for the possible accidental destruction of her plants. Another burst of memory. She didn't believe you when you confessed to coming up with the plan. That's because she knew I'd never come up with anything that put you in danger. Their eyes met, the connection so profound, so full of shared memories that it stole Ilium's breath. And then Adon's words penetrated, stab wounds to his heart. He knew his friend hadn't meant them that way. But while Adon had spent his childhood and young adulthood trying to keep Ilium safe, Ilium hadn't been able to do the same the one time it mattered. He hadn't been beside his friend. And they'd lost Adon, first to a monster and her monstrous lover, then to his nightmares. Adon's smile faded, his eyes scanning Ilium's face. What's wrong? Shaking his head, Ilium stepped back. You should use the light before it fades, he said, his voice husky. We'll have to head down to dinner soon.